want to split a pizza? Maybe grab a couple beers. We can maybe grab something from Kelly's. No. Mm, no. The word is in my vocabulary. You just didn't used to hear it very often. Uh, mm -hmm. you have a date, don't you? Sort of. Are you with my brother? Matt is a great guy, but he's just a friend. Ouch. Does he know that? I, uh, I think he took it rather well. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Well, anyway, thank you so much for helping me move the couch. Wait. Bye. You're trying to get rid of me. No, I just, I need some downtime. You're lying. I want to watch Homestead. The NASCAR race, that was weeks ago. I know, I recorded it. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, but I've been working so much that I've only been able to watch it twice, and Daytona's right around the corner, and the new season's about to begin, and I haven't been able to do my in-depth analysis. Mark Martin. Oh, please, JJ. Superman. Your Jimmy Johnson is a great driver, but it's just not going to happen for him this year. Uh, he won four consecutive NASCAR championships. Nobody's ever done that. He, he be made history. He right now if it wasn't for Mark Martin. He came up the old way, the, the old school way. He, he had to work to get there. Uh, and he came in second at the chase. <sighs> well, he could have won. But he didn't. You know what? I haven't had any time to watch the race yet, so can you just... All right. I'll let you stay. Perfect. On one condition. What's that? I get the remote. <laughs> I didn't mean leave this second. Well, I nearly left a couple of days ago. I guess I just needed a little push. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. I hear Paris is nice this time of year. Mom will like that. Yeah, I'll give, uh, give Spencer a chance to get to know her, spend some time with her. I wouldn't tell Mom about this whole Elizabeth thing. I think no, there's... No, well, I'll just, I'll just tell her that poor Charles holds too many memories with Emily, which is true. If Emily were alive, none of this would be happening. All right. Yeah, I love to imagine that my marriage to Emily would have lasted forever and that we could have been completely happy, but the truth is I wasn't really that good for her, Lulu. I was demanding, unfaithful amongst other things. You learn from your mistakes. <laughs> Apparently not. See, I'm a Cassidyne. It's in my nature to take what I want, no matter who gets in my way. Don't turn this into some big Cassidyne thing. Look, you fell in love with Elizabeth even though she's engaged to Lucky. Maybe she led you on. Maybe she did. But I don't see this ending well. And you're doing the honorable thing. You're just, you're stepping out of the way. Yeah, I suppose you're right. You know, it may take some time, but I think Lucky will get over this. It's not like you're sleeping with Elizabeth. And maybe you'll meet a girl in Paris, and once things settle down, you can come back. <laughs> well, I trust that you'll let me know when it's safe to come back. I don't want you to go. But I honestly, I think that leaving town is going to be what's best for everyone. It's sad, but I'm starting to see a pattern. Every time Lucky and I get close to what we say we've always wanted, I throw something in the middle of us. First Jason, and now Nicholas. Well, maybe, maybe you don't want a life. Unlucky after all. Maybe it's what you think you no, want. No, no. No, I love him. Yeah, but if you have to shut part of yourself down to be with him, what does that say? And whatever happened to that wild and rebellious streak? Oh. That's who wanted to be with Nicholas. He seems a little dangerous in a, in a privileged sort of way. Being with Nicholas was self-destructive. And if Lucky ever finds out, it will destroy my family. Yeah. Well, I don't see any way out of this without someone getting hurt. And when you finally make a choice and stick to it, it'll be better for everyone you care about. Which puts me right back where I started. <sighs> Lizzie, you can't ignore what's real. And whatever you're feeling in your gut, even if it seems wrong at first, you have to go with that. Thank you. Hey. Who's here? Hey, Steve. How are you, buddy? If you need anything else, let me know. I will. Thank you. Hi. Hey. The boys around? Graham's going to 
to drop him off in a little while. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about Nicholas. Franco has disappeared. Framing him for Claudia's murder will give him incentive to stay gone. Well, Franco's going to see it as a challenge, and he's going to use the evidence he has against Michael to pay back. Okay. Listen, now that Claudia's body has surfaced, we need to feed the cops a killer. Now, unless you want to stand around until they figure out it's Michael, it, ha Sonny, it should be Franco. We can't afford to provoke this guy. Why is he getting to you like this? I am the reason that Franco came to Port Charles in the first place. He reached out, and I shut him down. That's why now he's going to kill an innocent person every time that I have to kill somebody. He's not stupid. He's motivated. He's going to find a way to stay connected to me. We cannot provoke this guy. Our first priority is Michael. Franco is the logical choice to take the fall for Claudia's murder. I mean, there's no doubt he put her body in the warehouse. Hey, Ronnie's gonna say that Franco confessed to killing her, right? And if we're lucky, they're gonna find his DNA somewhere and it's gonna, you know, make him look guilty. Look, I know Franco did some terrible things in this town, but the cops are just waiting to bust him. Even if things don't quite add up, the case will be closed. And that's good for us, and it's dead.